Hello everybody, good morning, and welcome to Vlogger Fair 2014. The second, hopefully, probably annual Vlogger Fair event in Seattle, Washington. There's a bunch of people meeting a bunch of people, and I checked in just now, and uh, yeah, we're hanging out. Let's see who's here. It's cool to be here seven years after I uploaded my very first YouTube video to the Shane Carl channel. I'm here with Charles, who's being escorted to the bathroom. You managed to kind of sneak by. Er sneaky. Earlier, you shut the place down. Because somebody pointed me out. Megan Tondas, why are you crying? I'm so sad. What's wrong with your eye? Why are you crying? Are you zooming in on my eye? I, I zoomed in as much as I could. Maddie Gatos is here. What's up, buddy? How's it going? Good. A man of few words and much food. He's tolerating his I can't even hear you. He's tolerating his coffee. Yeah, that's a microphone, right? What do I do with this thing? YouTube. So Charles and his vlog called me out to do the uh, ice bucket challenge. Yep. So I'm going to do it on stage. They're You're getting up. ice now, um, but this lovely lady found out from the venue that they won't let us do it. Let's go outside. Unless we get a kiddie pool on the main stage. So they're trying to get a kiddie pool. So we're going to have like a pool party. On, you have a kiddie pool on you in your hotel room? Oh, wow. Yeah. Now we're going to do it on the main stage with a kiddie pool. Why don't you stand in one of the Vita Coco? A Vita Coco one? One of the sponsors? They would probably like that. Sponsored by Vita Coco. They're going to love that. Thank you very much. How, do, how does the search go? Uh, it's going good. Two people on it. <laughs> Thank you very much. So right now, I am just waiting for someone to pick me up. I finished packing before they got here, which is a miracle. Last summer, I went to a volunteer camp uh, to be a counselor, and I'm going to go back there again this year for the same week. So I'm going to be working with teens. Except this year, they have like different themes for the weeks, and this week is sports-themed. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen me do sports. You haven't because I don't do sports. So I don't really know how this is going to go. I figured that if I just put enough like gung-ho enthusiasm into what I'm doing that people will, you know, I'll at least like slip under the radar, but I don't really know much about sports to be honest. I lack that competitive spirit and that love for hand-eye coordination or whatever it is. But I do really like volunteering there and this is probably one of the last summers that I'm gonna be able to do that. So I thought I would just give it another shot. So good luck to me in sports and stuff. I'll be back Saturday night and I'll let you know how it went if I get back. I don't actually have a ride planned uh, to get back because the person who's driving me up has to leave early. So if I'm not back next Saturday, I'm probably somewhere in the woods eating berries and living in a grass hut. Who knows? I don't know what's gonna happen. It's an adventure. We're gonna go on an adventure. All right, we're going on stage. Hello everybody, how's it going? Hey! You guys enjoying your vlogger fair so far? Yeah? Uh, I make YouTube videos. Uh, I know so, so do a lot of you guys. Is it okay if you guys are in my video? Uh, Alright. Uh, it's really hard to vlog and use the mic, so I'm going to put the mic down and film you all. Oh, this area is a lot more excited. Let's hear it. Alright. Uh, Charles, you ready? Come on out, buddy. Charles, in his daily vlog, uh, it went up yesterday, challenged me to do the ice bucket challenge. And I found out while I was flying here, I actually landed and had a bunch of tweets from people saying I didn't have to do it. So, yeah, here, ready to call it out? Yeah, yeah okay. gotta get rid of the phone. Um, for those that don't know, it's kind of going around oh, that people are raising awareness on. Can you put it back in your pocket? ALS. No, it's an ALS is a really terrible disease. It's not something that's affected me personally, um, but it's something that I do care about. I have, you know, friends and friends and friends who, who, who it has affected. And so um, I'm going to be donating $100 to Moz. Uh, and then I am done. Uh, Charles, did you donate your money? Yeah. Good man. Charles, if you would be so kind as to do the honors. I also don't even have a change of clothes on the way. 
What's that? Um, Take it off. Take it off. Good yeah, stop. Normally we're gonna stop people from stop. Uh, I, I, so at the airport, I, fight, uh, I was looking for a Canadian swimsuit. The best thing I found was Canadian underwear. But then I got here and realized everyone was so young that it might not be a great idea to contribute to my clothes on. Well, that's done. I did it. Thank you, everybody who tweeted and left comments. And uh, I don't really have a change of clothes or anything. So I don't know what I'm going to do. That was very shocking and refreshing. And we didn't even make a mess. Thank you, everybody who helped. Thanks to these guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And for those that want to know more about ALS or Luke Eric's disease, we're going to link to it in the description. Charles is vlogging. He's stealing my thunder. There we go. Ooh, look at that lens flare. Thank you for the challenge. I appreciate it. Thanks, Thank you for su supporting uh, charity. I don't even have a towel. Not even a towel. Ah, we didn't make a mess, right? Everything's okay? No, we're all good. A couple ice cubes here and there. <laughs> all right. Okay, so while I was on stage, I forgot to challenge the people that I, I have to tag three people. So I picked the three people I want to tag. Um, Wheezy Waiter, Matt G124, and Hank Green. You guys have 24 hours from the time of posting this video to go do your own uh, ice bucket water challenge thing uh, and raise awareness on ALS. So, awesome. And now someone's playing the guitar. It's beautiful. Danny gave me one of his uh, DLV shirts. I don't even know what DLV stands for. What's DLV? We'll just say Danny Lindsay Vlogs or Dance Loving Velociraptors, whichever you want. I like Dance Loving Velociraptors. Yeah, right? And people are like, what does that stand for? Dance Loving Velociraptors. Those are three things that I'm passionate about. Uh, and I'm a lot drier now, which is nice. And Emily is here. She's one of the volunteers from Buffer Festival. And you betrayed us to volunteer at Vlogger Fair. Are you here too? Uh, that's true. So even though we're only on the first day, uh, the Vlogger Fair is only one day. It's already over. It was really quick. And so I'm wandering around with Charles and Allie. And there is a really cool fountain thing with a bunch of just pilgrims running around in the water. Oh, cool! It's like a copy of the CN Tower, really just not, n n nowhere near as good. Alright guys, it was a super, super, super late night. We just went out partying and drinking and stuff got crazy. You know, it's uh, 10 o'clock, totally sober, tired, going to sleep. <laughs> I'm so boring. Wake up and fly home. Vlog affair was cool. Uh, Ice Bucket Challenge was cool. Uh, the people that I got to meet today were really cool, and, and the, the the YouTubers I got to meet or see again today were really cool. And I was really tired, and everyone seems pretty zonked out. No one's really doing much, and we're all going to sleep. So, <laughs> good night. Very early good night. Well, I guess if you added three hours, it's one in the morning. So, it's still late, but good night. Daily vlogs. I want them in my subscription box. I wonder who might drop by. Even though sometimes it's Canada outside. So don't go away. We're here every day. It's not Apprentice A. It's Apprentice A. Hey, hey.